right, we're back here. It's the next day. Um, so what did we do yesterday? Oh, we did the transmission fluid. We put the deep pan on. Uh, oil pan for the transmission fluid. So we're good there. Um, today we're going to take the uh, catalytic converter off and we're going to punch it out. It may already be punched out. We'll find out here in a minute. Um, I got the bolts soaking in croil or uh, penetrant, I should say. For those that don't know what croil is, this stuff right here. Uh, if you let it sit on there long enough, it'll pretty much uh, loosen up any bolt. Anyways, I got four of them on here. They're uh, 9 sixteenths, and um, there's a little pipe on the other side over here that connects to the converter, and I got to disconnect that. Looks like there's a little um, radiator style clamp on that, so hopefully that'll just pull off, otherwise I'm cutting it one or the other here. So let's... Uh, Pull this off and um, we'll have a look inside, see what we got here. Um, this isn't a how-to video, it's just more of a, uh, this is what I'm doing to this car. Uh, but it's pretty simple, I mean, you can't really. On 84 and 85 Corvettes, you got four bolts right here. You got the same thing in the back right there. They're flanges. And that's it, it should just drop right down, I'm hoping. We'll find out here in a minute. So, uh, yeah, let me pull this down and see what we got. Alrighty, bye bye. All right, we're back here. I have to say that was the easiest catalytic converter in my life I've ever taken off. I had this out in minutes. There was nothing to it. Um, yes, she isn't hollowed out. Let's see if we get some light in there. So I gotta head back to my house right now, and uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna punch right through this thing, and that should give us a little bit better sound, a little bit better fuel economy. Um, yeah, maybe it'll, uh, hopefully a little bit more performance. So, yeah, there she is. Clearly says in it out right on it, so you can't really screw that up putting it on. Four bolts. That's it on each side. Well, nothing to it. All right, so let me go punch all this out here. And uh, yeah, we'll be back. Bye-bye. All right, this is pretty simple. I'm just using a big old screwdriver. And just banging it out. And it's just breaking apart. So yeah, you just pretty much stick this in here. And then uh, just hit it like hit it like this, and bash it all out. So it's gonna take a little bit. It'll probably take me 20 minutes to get all this out. But yeah, let me uh, keep working on it, and we'll see how she goes. Alrighty, bye bye. All right, we got her gutted. Here's all the rubbish. Hate to say it, but I have a feeling this was a brand new catalytic converter on the car. It sure don't look 40 years old to me. Or whatever it is for 84 to now. So here we are. Nice, nice and clean. I'm guessing this tube is for the EGR valve. 
Probably. I don't know. I have no idea. That's all right. We'll stick it back together. Good enough. So there we go. There's all our mess. All right. So let's get back up there and uh, let's get this installed and see how she sounds. All righty. Bye-bye. What are you guys doing? Get over here. Where's Marshy? Hey, what's going on? What are you monsters doing? Oh yeah, you're a good boy. You're a good boy. So are you, Mac. So are you. All right, go play. I got work to do. Try not to get all fur on me. Thank you. Having fun? <laughs> all right, we're back here. That's the pumps. Those are my assistants right here. <laughs> Anyways, we're back at the house here. Uh, I got everything all cleaned up. Nice and smooth. Both sides. Uh, we got our gaskets right here. And I'm going to install them. Um, I'll plug this back in too. And uh, yeah. Um, yeah, let me get to this. Uh, and then the next thing we should be doing is uh, taking a look at it installed. And we'll fire it up and see if it, she sounds any better. All right. Um, unless something pops up unusual underneath here. Uh, yeah, well, that's, that should be the uh, game plan for right now. All righty. We'll be back. Bye-bye. All right. We got her all back together. I actually started it up. It sounds good. I'll show you in a second. But uh, let's crawl underneath here. Take a look. Boom. Here we go. Alright, like I said, I already started it up so it doesn't have any leaks or anything. All factory looking. Yeah, so. Gotta burn a little bit of the oil off from my hands on it. Yeah, not bad at all. So there we go. Hands on. I think we're good here. So, all right, let's give it a start up, and uh, yeah, and we'll end this video there. All right, so let me uh, start it up, and then I'll get back to you guys for a conclusion. All right, bye-bye. so yeah that's it we're all done we are now cat delete but we're not <laughs> so yeah it does sound a lot better i notice it revs a lot quicker too not a lot quicker but i i noticed the difference with the um while revving it it seems like a smoother cleaner rev um yeah so well when i get this thing all done here we'll be driving it around and we'll see how she goes I will say this though, it does sound better in person than it does on uh, the camera right now. Uh, I tried my, my cell phone too, it doesn't really pick up the sound correctly. But hey, whatever, I'm happy with it. Um, yeah, so that's it, we're going to end this video right here. And uh, next, I'm not sure what we're going to do, either we're going to do the tune up, valve covers. Um, uh, you know what we end up doing, we'll change the front spoiler next, and we're going to cut a hole in here to match this so we get some better cold cool flowing uh ram air into the engine here yeah and that's it uh one thing i thought was pretty funny when you start this thing up let's see if i can reach over here yeah i never knew that had that on there i'm not sure what that does i guess because it's still cold it's like choking it off, maybe? I don't know. Anyone knows what this is? I mean, why that does that? Let me know. Because I was going to put the uh, like the Camaro-style Crossfire um, injected uh, air cleaners on this thing. You know, it's just the round ones. A big, it's just one piece. It's round, but it doesn't take up as much space. Or I was going to put two separate little air cleaners on each one of the throttle bodies. 
I was thinking of doing something like that, but if this actually does something that I can't do that with, uh, let me know. I'm not really sure. I haven't really looked it up either yet, so I don't know. Anyways, we'll end the video right here. Next video will be uh, cutting a hole in this so we can get some ram air, and we're going to get a new uh, bottom air dam on. And there we go. And that's it. So we'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.